Hey guys, welcome back to Bowers Fan TV and today we're back with another video just talking about the latest news, all things around Bowers, all um latest on incomings, outgoings as well. We've had a couple of uh, bits of news over the last 24 hours with uh, Rob Cornwall coming back, um, which is what I was originally going to be talking about most in this video today, but then obviously we got uh, some news this morning about the, a, a pretty big departure in Jonathan Afalabi to Belgian soy KV. Uh, Card cartridge or something like that. I can't pronounce out the the, um, the team's name, but look, yeah, that's that's uh, the two main bits and nails we'll be discussing in this video. Um, yeah, look, just probably start hoping I'll have a good Christmas. Um, haven't been making much videos lately just because there hasn't been anything to really talk about. But hopefully now, uh, in the next week or two, with you know Afalabi gone now when we with club having a bit of money hopefully they can speed up the process of getting a few players in the door and we'll have a bit more to talk about but look there's two bits and nails to discuss here in today's video um <clears throat> starting with rob cornwall coming back uh one that we kind of knew was going to happen anyway um it was sort of um rumored uh sort of around maybe early mid december that he, he was going to be coming back and then obviously the club announced it yesterday um and yeah look i, I don't know i think i've been sort of two minds about it obviously i discussed it in the, in the previous video we did when it was sort of rumored that he, it was going to happen um I, I don't know really i think as much as you know people say well i don't know we've been signing a lot of former players lately and maybe it's a time to start kind of step away from doing that um but look you, you can't deny that rob cornwall you know he, he, he was here before you know he knows the club um He's, he's, he's an experienced player in the league. He's played for you know, Derry and Rovers and all. You know, he, he's been around the league and, you know, he's, he's, he's had a couple of years in America now and hopefully, you know, he does seem like a sort of different player now. You know, he just, you know, just looking at some of the pictures and the interview we did, he doesn't seem as kind of bulked up as he used to be. He sort of seems a bit more leaner and, you know, he, he seems a little, a little bit more fit. Like I think he said that in, in his interview, like, you know, it's a fit as he's felt in a long while. So hopefully, you know, when he comes back, um, you know he'll have him put his injury problems behind that we know we had here previously and and he'll, he'll be a, a good addition to that defense and i think he will you know he's an experienced player you know he, he knows the league like i mentioned and, and hopefully you know he can offer something um in terms of you know his experience as well that that's that's a big um a big one as well you know having a bit of experience back in that defense you know play, you know a player that's played in the league has because been at the club before and you know we know we'll go out there and give 100 percent and this is just a few things that he said um when he when he when it was confirmed you know he said i'm delighted to be back to be honest i was eating away at me when i was away that i, was, I always wanted to come back and play for bowels there were other clubs who approached me but if bowels wanted me i was always going to going to sign back to, uh, here it was tough watching from far and there was no other club that i wanted to sign for when i was here before the club was grown and it's grown even further in in the in the two years i've been away you can see what the support that was getting selling uh, out every week this that, that is a massive club and for, for me as a player it's, it's a place to be um yeah look you know, good words from cornwall there um you know you can you can see that he's, he's happy to be back um you know he mentions here as well you know it's, it's a completely new thing everyone i was here before with the exception of keith bogley james talbot and paddy kirk there's a quality here and a big personalities in the dressing room and i think that that's that's something that's really important you know having a bit of person some, you know some personality He's back in that dressing room, something that we probably lacked over the last couple of years. You know, it was it was good having Bogo back um, last season because obviously he, you know, he, you know, he's a big personality and he's you know, he's a leader. And then Carmel's the same. You know, they're both him and Bogo and, and even Talbot are, are you know are considered you know, senior players now, even though they're not old. You know, it's just you know because of how, how young the squad is. So yeah, hopefully you know Carmel coming back. You know, hopefully he'll be a good addition to the team. You know, like I said, it's it's an experienced player. He'll, he'll add a bit um a bit of bite back to that defence. Hopefully, and yeah, look, I, I'm personally you know pretty happy to have him back. And obviously, some people have other opinions, but but for me anyway, I think I think it's it's, it's a good bit of business bringing back. Um, obviously on to the other bit of news now. Um. Afalabi um this morning it was announced that he's left the club. He's gone to Belgian Club K V Cards Cards Ridge or whatever, I don't know, Card Digs or whatever. Um which obviously we could, I wouldn't say it came as a surprise, you know, we knew that there was gonna be interest and we knew that there was bids coming in and and we knew that it was more than you know likely gonna happen that he was gonna go and yeah, it was it was confirmed this morning. Um we don't know what kind of fee we're talking about. Obviously, the, the rumored fee was sort of around two hundred to three hundred grand. Let's say it's something in, in in the region of that, which you know I think is good money. Obviously, um, you know, well, I don't think we signed him for much. You might have even signed him for nothing. Um, and you know, I, I think I think 
it, it's 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 going money obviously and even even you know despite him being a a really key part of the team last season probably our best player our top goal scorer you know when you have a player that's you know like Afalabi you know he he sort of um when he was over in England and Scotland sort of failed to kind of make a breakthrough at, at certain clubs and you know, he's come back to, to Ireland and he's had a really good season with us and and um you know he's got he's got his move to to the to uh, to Belgium and you know he's playing in the in the top division in Belgium now I think I was looking at this morning I think the team he, he's see something for our bottom of the league but you know hopefully he, his goals can fire them out of that, that relegation battle but um yeah, no, well, obviously it's it's disappointing to see him go. But look, you're you're looking, you're talking about you know in the region two hundred to three hundred grand. I think you're saying you know, you, you know, it's good money and it's something that you know, <laughs> you know, sorry, you um, you um, you'd accept even if it's um, you know, even if your your levels and your your main goal trade, you're looking at it thinking well, if you, if you don't accept the money now, we'll probably lose him for nothing next year. So yeah, look, I'm obviously disappointed that he's gone, but look. It is what it is. This is what you have to say. But anyway, I am um, uh, addressing the Bowls fans after that. He said, it's been a pleasure and an honor to play for Bowls for the last year and a half. I'd like to thank the coaching staff, my teammates, and all the fans for making my time here very enjoyable. I'll be moving on with a lot of good memories and moments in my career that helped me improve. Lastly, I would like to wish the club uh, all the best going forward. I will be supporting the lads from afar up the Bowls. So, you know, no nice words there from after that. Obviously, we know that, you know, like I mentioned, he hasn't really... Um, stamped his authority down at a certain club in his career and you know he I suppose Bow was probably the first club where he found maybe a bit of stability and you know found his feet in terms of you know getting goals consistently and you know it, it, I'm, I'm happy for him you know he's got a big move you know to a, to a, a club in, in, the, in the in a good league and hopefully you know he, he can um he can continue his, his good form over there in Belgium but yeah that's sort of all really um just you know obviously you know that Carmel's back and Afalabi's gone. You know, hopefully, um, with the Afalabi money now coming in, that that can help speed up the process in terms of you know, uh, getting a few more players in the door. And the Devine said that there's um, he uh, just just get it up now. He um, he said he's expecting a pretty busy month ahead. You know himself, Pat Fenley, and Gary Crown and Dead Sir. You know all the all the backroom team are working hard to make sure that the equipment's right and. You know, there's a lot. Of, he said there that there's a lot of war in, in the fire at the minute. We have we have to make sure we do it right and that we are not rushing to sign players for the sake of it who aren't the players we need. So, you know, we, we it, it's it's obviously you know it's frustrating that we haven't got you know as many players in the door that we would have liked to have done. But hopefully now, like we said, the Afalabi money's come in. It'll speed up the process a bit in terms of getting new players in the door. Um, I know there's been rumours that apparently Pat Hubin is going to be lined up as his replacement, uh, Afalabi's replacement. I don't know how true that is. Um, it's going to be hard because you know he's under contract with the dog, but obviously we've got a good bit of money there for Afalabi if we put a good bid in. I know there's new owners at the dog who will probably want to be. You know, keeping them because he's their, you know, their, their main goal trade. Um, it, it's a bit of an odd one because I know he was told last at the end of last season that he's basically not in in their plans anymore. But there's still a chance he could be there next season. So, who knows? But look, yeah, I think it's it's really important that we, we get the Afalabi replacement bang on. Um, because if we don't, then we're I think we're in a bit of trouble in terms of you know who's going to get the goals. You know, there's, there's still goal threats in the team. You know, we still have players like James Clark, Grant Conley, even Akin Tunde and McDade can ship in. So, yeah, but look, obviously it's it's really important that we go out and sign a, a top striker that we know can find the back of the net. Or a path wouldn't be ideal, but I don't know if that's realistic. But look, we'll wait and see what happens with that one anyway. But yeah, that that's everything really in terms of late snails. Um, you know, car while back, that's that's a good bit of business. So I think after I'll be gone, you know, it's sad, but look, we've got a good bit of money now. Hopefully the club can go out and get a, a proven goal scorer from somewhere. And yeah, that's it really. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment down what you thought about the video, or what you're thinking about the late snails are you happy that Carmel's back what are your feelings about Afalab are you sad to see him go you know who do you think we should replace him with and yeah I'll see you in the next one bye bye